we're back. And before I introduce our special guest on today's show, I'd like to read something to you. Karate is an art that teaches respect and discipline through hard work. This in turn develops the inner spirit as well as the body. As we train together, we learn to work together with respect for each other as well as the art. Karate to me is more than a sport, it is a way of life. And the man that said that, who is known worldwide for his martial arts contributions, is with us today, and it's Master Fumio Demeron. Sir, it is a pleasure <laughs> to yes, have you with again. us today. It's good to have you with us. Thank you. Um, we, as of 1990, mm. celebrated 25 years of your contributions to the martial arts in the United States since you've come to America. Uh, how do you feel about 25 years of contributions? Well, 25 is a long time, but a uh, really short time. And uh, I'm glad I came over to this country. And I told them uh, early this year, uh, when I came over here, I didn't have any nothing. And I made it. But a lot of work. But I try trying to say to the young people, this country, if you want to do something, anybody can do it. Just a little work harder. Yeah. That's the last 25 years I learned. Now, you, you had trained in uh, Japan and had spent many years, and from what I understand, you were asked by somebody to come over, and you didn't know any English when you came. No. None. No. One, two, three is power, <laughs> most I know. <laughs> All right. And started out with a small dojang in a. Uh, we start, me and my partner, in a little garage. Uh, we started from there, but we had about 10, 12 students. And I was sleeping uh, concrete in the, with a newspaper. That's my bed. Yeah, so you're mm. sleeping on concrete, newspaper on concrete. And now, uh, thanks to you, there are so many things available. And, and, I'll, and I'll just point out one or two. And I, first of all, you've worked with Bo, Sai, Kama, um, Tanfa, do you like the extension tools, the weapons? Uh, and well, the Chacos too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, reading the weapons is it's easy to do to the everybody. Uh -huh. That's the reason I did it. Uh, karate is more like a personnel. It has so many different styles. Yes. So weapons is not there. That's the reason I start weapons. I first. see. So yeah. with, with your style, that could only reach the people that train in the Japanese style. That's right. But through the weapons, the Taekwondoists and the Kido, anybody That's can right. train. That's great. The, um, and out of the, and all these books, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, those that are not into the martial arts are authored by Master Demra and much, much more. Now, just recently, um, which is a little difficult to get a hold of now, you did an instructional videotape, Black Belt Karate, uh, Master Demra. Um, I know you believe that karate is taught by a person, but you contributed through this, too. This was, this came out very nice. Yes, uh, the first time uh, they asked me to do the karate video and I told him no then keep coming back coming back so I said okay I do for basics and that really I did it and then from Loma to now I think they go through uh, Warner Brothers uh, company uh -huh. they bought it so they're selling from over there now all right all right and the famous and they are, there's been three karate kid this is a tape box of the karate kid one a lot of people are not aware that you do the martial arts for Pat Marina. You did it in the O'Hara television series, too. But uh, you did the Miyagi fighting, basically, didn't you? Yeah, from first one, and I choreographed myself, and uh, I used my own people to uh, stunt. Yeah, so you jumped off the fence. Many, many times. Many times, <laughs> many times jumped off the fence. Do you, um, do you like working in the movie industry? Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no, and a lot of responsibility, and uh, we have to make uh, pad make good. So it's a lot of work to do. Yeah. yeah, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun too. Well, it, you know, and I'm going to open this up because this booklet was put together by your students in school. Yes. And this is in commemory of your 25 years since you've been to the United States, and it lists many movies so you've been in other movies as well as tv shows yeah quite a bit yeah now as far as the tv shows and the movies um is the one that uh, you had more fun in or preferred more is the doing the movies more fun because it's long-term kind of stuff uh well 
different uh, future in the TV, the time-wise. Future, uh -huh. I think, more longer, so I have more time to think and do things, but the uh, TV show is much more quicker. Yeah. But it's more variety, and I like bows. You like bows? Yeah. And then uh, I guess the next thing, and I'm, I'm really going to bump through a lot of the areas just so that I've mentioned them. As far as magazines and martial arts magazines, you have been one of the most recognized cover pictures out of, out of any. I think Bruce Lee and only one other person have ever been on the cover as much as you. I think you've been on Black Belt magazine on the cover 10, 12 times. Uh, do you like doing that? Is that is that something you enjoy too? Because there's a lot of work to just do yeah, it all. Yeah, well, I never ask them. They ask <laughs> they me. Ask you, yeah. <laughs> so as long as they want to do it, I will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it fun? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's the way that is. It's but diff they, different than the movie, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because you stay in and you yeah. spend hour after hour. A lot hour of times. Shots. It's, you're trying to do something, halfway stop and stop. I don't have any film anymore, so wait there. <laughs> it's pain there. All right, now in this booklet, because there's a couple of good pictures and we'll get a close up of this, of this one right here. And as we're taking a close up of it, what is this picture of that they're looking at now in the monitor? Oh, first one is uh, just, uh, uh, just before uh, we moved to New Dojo, uh, I just took a snap of that. And the other one, it's just uh, uh, 60, 1961, I was won uh, uh, freestyle championships. In Japan? Yes, yes. That's the, from a uh, trophy from a minister uh, of uh, education department. All right. Now, one of the things that you were strong, you're, you're known by your style and your strength in katas. But you, you were a strong fighter. Quite a few years you took first and second places in the fighting. Well, all Japan just once. Okay. But I had uh, East of Japan and a few other, uh, not biggest, but uh, quite numbers, major. So you took fighters. all Japan championship in fighting, inspiring ones. Yes. Wow. That one, the tough one. And I think uh, uh, two big things in my memory is uh, just championships. And uh, this year, 25 years anniversary, all my students and all my other martial art people uh, celebrated me. It's a very, very uh, memorable. I never, never forget. Yeah. And especially a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Mr. Chuck Norris and uh, Mr. Oshima and also Mr. Pat Morita and all the people mm -hmm. came over and celebrated me. Uh, all my students from all over the world, they came over. And celebrated yeah, over in California. I really appreciate and uh, uh, I feel glad I did a karate. Without karate, I never meet all these people. Yeah. And I think uh, great feeling. Yeah, I think that uh, it's been really a pleasure for all of us over the, uh, the many years, some only recently, but some of us have followed you and I've been involved in the arts for a fair amount of time years and you've contributed to us in all of our styles because of your spirit and your hard work. Yeah, I don't have any, any special way to, to just to promote my style. I think uh, I look more wider. I think it doesn't matter who, whoever love martial art, I think uh, I, we should give more hand. That's my way to, yeah. to express to the N people. Now your school is the Japanese Federation. That's right. All right, and you have locations we had to mention this, you have locations around the world, really. Yes, we have about uh, uh, 16 countries. 16 countries, yeah. quite a few locations in the United States, and you started in a garage. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the American way, and it does work, and that's terrific. Yeah. I mean, in martial arts commitment and spirit. And now, do you, now I'll ask, after 25 years, I, you've done so much, have you got any goals, anything you're looking forward to doing? No, uh, just 25 years enough for me, myself. <laughs> I think from now, another 25 years, I'm trying to, uh, my knowledge, share to the old martial arts people, so I give it more uh, to the people, right. instead of myself. Yeah, That's the, how I, feel I right now. I think most of the people out there, and we have quite a few people in the studio here, would state that you've been giving for 25 years, and uh, so if you and giving more, we're, uh, we're going to be very, very fortunate because you, you've been teaching so much so, through what you've done. Even the tournaments that you oversee are run very well and very well disciplined with courtesy and respect. 
uh, it's just been a great pleasure to have, and for you guests that don't know it, over, a little over four years ago, the first martial arts master, world recognized master uh, on the martial arts show was you. You were our very yeah, first know. guest, <laughs> yes, and that was, that yeah. was terrific, and I look back on that with incredibly fond memories. Because you made me feel right at home when we first started this oh, show. That's my series. owner, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, um, you know, is there something you'd like to share as we wrap up our, our opportunity to talk with you today? Is there something you'd like to share with the young karateka, the small boys and girls, piece of information you'd like to share with them? Well, like uh, I said, I did it for 25 years. But anybody, if you want to do it, you can make it. That's the main thing I'm telling all the people. But you have to work twice hard work. But if you do it, anybody, no such thing cannot do it. Yep. Anybody can do it. If you do it, you will take a long time. I think uh, what the martial art philosophy is, everybody carry on heavy bag and the shoulder to walk to wherever you go there. Yep. But if you go fast, run, you one mistake, you fall down, build harder, get up again. Yeah. Better step by step walk to reach the, your goal. All right. That's the, I think, I did it. Take yes. 25 years, but I learned a lot of things. I never fall down. Yeah. So take your time and uh, you have to believe yourself, you can do it. That's terrific. Believe in yourself and take your time. The strongest aspect of the martial arts, patience. Well, it's been a real pleasure having you spend some time with us again on the Martial Arts Today Show. You've done so much. Um, I personally, and I know our viewers, look forward to all the things you will achieve and accomplish because you, I know your schedule and you are not resting. You are not taking one moment off. You will be leaving for Mexico soon and then you're going to go down Australia again and then you go over to Japan again within the next few months. Mm -hmm. Um, we look forward to all of your contributions and thank you on behalf oh, my of pleasure. On all yeah. the martial arts. Thank you for everything you've done for all of thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Fumio Demra, well known worldwide and a contributor. A pleasure to have him with us on the show. We're going to take a short break and then we're going to be back with more on the Martial Arts Today Show. The Martial Arts Today Show aired on NBC for 12 years, reaching over 3 million homes in the United States and Canada. Its host, Grandmaster Clifford C. Crandall Jr., traveled to 22 countries covering diverse martial arts styles and events. Grandmaster Crandall is the founder of the American Martial Arts Institute and American Eagle Style. He has made numerous contributions to the field of martial arts, producing instructional videos, books, including the American Eagle Style textbook and the American Eagle Style Self-Defense DVD. These resources share the American Eagle Style with the world and help its instructors teach its students. In addition to traveling around the world as host of the Martial Arts Today show, Grandmaster Crandall has led several martial arts teams on international cultural exchange tours. In 1994, he coached and led the first American martial arts team to perform by government invitation for the People's Republic of China. The team carried letters from President Clinton, Vice President Gore, and numerous senators and congressmen. The presidential letter was read before each performance. A 30-minute documentary was produced to chronicle the trip and its historic significance. He led similar trips to Russia, Japan, Australia, Italy, and the Caribbean. Grandmaster Crandall has appeared in many martial arts magazines, promoting safety and awareness for people of all ages and abilities. He has promoted child safety internationally, is the Central New York spokesperson for McDonald's Corporation, and set a Guinness Book World Record for breaking boards while skydiving as a publicity effort for the need for child safety education. Grandmaster Crandall is also the headmaster of Takanuchi Hanganru Matsuno Crandall, a 300-year-old Iaido style. Grandmaster Crandall's certified position entitled were bestowed to him by his late instructor, Headmaster Tsuni Yoshi Matsuno, during a traditional ceremony in Japan in June of 2002. Grandmaster Crandall has documented these styles in both textbook and DVD format. Prior to becoming a full-time professional martial artist, Grandmaster Crandall was a superintendent of schools, a high school principal, an elementary school principal, and a classroom teacher in the state of New York. 
To learn more about Grandmaster Crandall and the American Martial Arts Institute, visit www.amai-eaglestyle.com.